Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I want to tell you a story. I was working, lecturing, and um, doing workshops at a spa uh, in upstate New York, a destination spa. And because it was upstate New York, there were some great, great hiking trails. I had taken a hike early that morning. I took another one in the early evening, and then I had to lecture that night. I was tired. I was wiped, exhausted, and I didn't know this feeling. I remember looking at somebody saying, this must be what it feels like when people say they're tired. It was, it was, it was shocking, and I, and I wanted to study it because it was so amazing. The very next day, I had gotten home, and I had to go to the hospital, and I had an emergency uh, gallbladder removal. I was sick, and I didn't even know it. I was accustomed to sleeping only four hours a night because that's all I felt I needed. Years later, when I suffered from a head injury, I had to sleep a whole lot more just to heal. And that's when I discovered that I had been lying to myself about this four hours a night. I also discovered that there are hours in the day that I'm brightest. The pandemic, as terrible as it was, brought the opportunity for everyone to rest, to stop from our busy and, you know, the day in, day out, going somewhere, see to be seen, up and down and in and out. And it was phenomenal. And just like Thanksgiving, where we're one day on a Thursday giving thanks for absolutely everything, and then the next day shopping for things that we don't even need, we had this opportunity to rest. And then we jumped right back in with work. And some of us doing that kind of work remotely. I continued to work throughout the pandemic. I rested, but I also worked. I worked in a different way. I worked remotely. And now that things are back out and everybody is going and I'm going and really going like I have done for years, I'm also working remotely. And I find myself back to that familiar, what is this feeling of tired? I'm trying to figure out uh, I've been trying to figure out how to have the same energy that I need remotely as I do in person. And I'm, I'm pretty good at it. I'm very, very good at it. And my body is beginning to heal. Uh, I had a great visit with my doctor looking at my labs and things have turned around in a really dramatic way. But I still couldn't figure out my schedule with being in school and working remotely and working in person, I couldn't figure out how to use my energy because I really don't use time. I use energy, which has been my secret. Um, a good friend, Gypsy Schindler, who painted this amazing portrait of Pauli Murray, uh, shared with me um, an interview with Sounds True and Reverend Trisha Hersey of the Knapp Ministry. And in it, she talked about her book, Rest is Resistance. And she talked about the NAP ministry. And I quickly got her book and I got the physical book and I got the audible book and I was listening to it. And I realized that there was something that I absolutely need to do. And one of the things that she recommends in this NAP ministry, in addition to naps and daydreaming, which I have been really big on my whole life, is taking a break from social media once a week. And so I've decided on Saturdays, I'm going to take a break from social media. Because even when I'm just posting a story and just going back in to read the wonderful comments, I find myself scrolling into areas that I don't need to have in my spirit. And so that rest from is important. I highly recommend this book, Rest is Resistance. But I also recommend that maybe you take a break. Find a day that works for you. It may not be every Saturday for me. It may make sense that some Saturdays I come in and maybe take that break on a Tuesday. But in order for me to live this life virtually and in person, and I mean, you know, work that I get paid for virtually and in person, because this storytelling is a ministry. But I also have to be well for this ministry and I have to be whole and I have to be fully energized. So if you don't see me on Saturday, scroll back and find a story you haven't seen because there's going to be plenty of them. I've been doing this every single day since the beginning of the pandemic, and I'm going to continue 
But on the Sabbath, I'm going to rest. I love you.